One of the big highlights for the weekend was the splash Prime Media made at the Radio Awards just this weekend. Uh, we won a few of our own here at 702, but we really, really want to put a bit of a spotlight uh, to the station upstairs, 947. They're winning, of course, Station of the Year. In fact, we're crossing over right now to them, Anele and the club. A very good morning. Welcome to 702. You can stand under my umbrella Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh Rihanna teaming up with Jay-Z on 947 I hope Bongani on 702 heard our wonderful singing there <laughs> Did you hear our wonderful on-key vocal coordination? Listen, this doesn't happen off- often We are live on 947 We're also live on 702 crossing to the breakfast team Hello there, Bongani Yeah, yeah, yeah and then the cl- Listen, congratulations We're saying Prime Media made a bit of a Splash at the Radio Awards oh, we this did. weekend, right? And in the brotherly, sisterly spirit, we thought we'd phone you and congratulate you. Very, very well done. Thank you. So, Mamela, we had a song for you. We had a song for you. This is what we thought we should wish you congratulations with. It is a... Don't lose the key. Don't lose the key. Oh, oh, I'll listen to you now. <laughs> okay, Randall. Okay, Randall. Am, am I not getting but, a ticket to Sun thing. City? Yes. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's what we thought because we wanted, you know, to be it's happy with you guys, right? I see that. But happy. apparently we got it wrong. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> Dejane. That's the theme song. Samba. Samba. You, and you know what, uh, uh, Bogani, you'll agree that you and I and, uh, you know, our teams, I know that you've got uh, Tsikwe as well as Muteo on that hey, side, and I've got Cindy hello. and Frank here. Uh, you know, we we wake up the city, right? It's our responsibility to wake up the city. So literally, the songs have to sound like this. We have to be this. Because from 6 o'clock, you're not waking up at 6. At <laughs> yeah, 6, you no, have to be awake. No. Listen, we're morning people, but we had a bit of, uh, shall we say, inside information about what song you would like to hear every time you walk in. Into a room. That's the one. Don't look around now, but it might have been a certain sports presenter who gave us that tip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good morning. Does she, is she dressed like a fruit today? A big bit of orange a, pumpkin. Bit orange color, yeah. <laughs> so listen, congratulations, 947 Station of the Year. Yes. Afternoon Drive presenter, Tando Tabete. Afternoon Drive show. <laughs> and we really hate you for this one. Breakfast show presenter, <laughs> Anil <Yeah>. M. Doctor. <laughs> How many times have you won it? How many times? Right? I think three at least. Right? At least three. I'm going to go in and research that. I think it's two. I think it's two. I think we're on to the second one now. Yeah. 2020? We- Didn't you get it in 2020? Can you let the other children breathe? Do you know the what? Do, do, no, we, we also, I, you know, we also scoop up the best of Joburg a lot uh, yeah. as, as a team and yeah. as presenters. So, but you know what it is, and I'm not even trying to be modest here. I really don't remember awards that we win. I think it's great, and it's it's better to win than not to win. Let's of course, be, let, of course. Let's be honest. We but, didn't. <laughs> yeah, we speak, didn't win. Speak <laughs> You, yeah. know, anyway, so, go ahead. You, you know, some things can be transmitted. Uh, we can just send the word two floors down, <laughs> and it can really get to hold yours. it and say, This is what it, it will feel like one day, one day. But listen, I mean, absolutely, we don't do it for the awards. <laughs> But we do do it for the love of Joba, for yes. the love of the people that yes. we serve, the audiences that we serve. And we here at 702 wanted to wish you all at 947 a big, big congratulations and say well done. Thank you so Thank much, Bongan. It really means a lot coming from you. I mean, you know, we, we've been watching your career. I remember, have you told people this, that I, I used to do graveyard and you used to do overnight for news? <laughs> Jonga, we come, we at midnight. Come, and I think if, I, if I'm correct, uh, our parents come from the same area, right? Kutsolo. Mm, Kutsolo. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Look same at how village. Far we've come. Then we, we joined Prime Media at the same time. He was doing overnights at 702. I was doing overnights at 947. And, and here now, we are. There we are. That's what? amazing. So, well, so, congratulations so. once more. And uh, yeah, Sama. Samba, Tijanero. We'll give it to you next year, Bongani. We'll, yeah. ta- we'll take a break That's next right, year. Yeah. <laughs> That's sabbatical. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, all right, it's all fun here. There Crossing over go. to 947. Very well done, guys. Uh, really, really, we do mean it. Uh, there's a bit of competition, as always. I think it's healthy competition. Healthy. Uh, really? But uh, we're all, obviously, one big family here at Prime Media Broadcasting. Uh, but they weren't the only winners. I can definitely tell you that for free, because even internally, of course, our congratulations go out to our colleague, Mandy Wiener, the host of the Midday Report, winning the best news and actuality show. Mandy, congratulations, you and your team. Thank you so much, Bongani. Really appreciate it. I mean, listen, um, you've been doing such phenomenal work, um, getting that hour of news and everything that's breaking, everything in terms of where stories might go. What does this award mean to you? Uh, it's, it's so rewarding. We have the most fantastic team on the Midday Report. My producer, Kamagwini Mavovana, uh, the technical pro- uh, pro- uh, producer who pushes all the buttons, Teresa Maboye. And it's just magic because uh, we're all women, so it's an all-women-led team. And we put a lot of work into it, a lot of thought, a lot of energy, getting the right guests. The EWN reporters contribute in such a big way, being on the ground, out there. And, and we like to think of it as a, as a bit of a lunchbox. You know, we bring everybody, everything, in an hour. So getting an award like this is a great recognition from the industry, uh, from our colleagues, and it's fantastic for 702 and Cape Talk. Yes, indeed. I mean, I think what we try to do as breakfast, we try to set the agenda. We have a sense of where we think the news is going. But of course, by the time you come in, you've got a very clear sense of what has happened, what is about to happen, and what might unfold later in the day. How do you decide Mm. what to pick, what to choose? So it's collaborative, we discuss it, we look at the news agenda. Uh, It's very much about a news sense. And we're very fortunate because a lot of news breaks in the middle of the day. So we have to, uh, what's that, that, that great COVID word? Pivot. We have to pivot a lot uh, and, and be adaptable and be able to go to breaking stories as they happen. But then we also like to, to set the agenda in our own way. We try and get those exclusives. We look at the quirky stories. I like to speak about the zeitgeist of the country. So we try and find things that people are talking about and add a bit of flavor. And then, you know, at heart, I love sports. So we, we make sure that we, we do a bit of that as well. Uh, Tom Kelly and I always have a good band and we bring good things and try and bring some light and shade. So a little bit of everything always. In your lunchbox. Listen, couldn't happen to a nicer team. Congratulations. Mandy Wiener there, the host of the Midday Report here on 702 and Cape Talk, winning news and actuality show. But uh, we're not done boasting. We're not done bragging just yet because, of course, uh, we've got uh, our Sifiso Zulu who walked away with the best bulletin reader and he's now on the line uh, from Eyewitness News. Sifiso Zulu, so very well done, young man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marnie. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I mean, you've got that you've got that magic combination of a voice that speaks with authority, but it's a lovable voice. It's a voice you can get very easily uh, drawn uh, into. You bring news, you bring the news in a way that is understandable, digestible. And I just think your career is on the up and on the up. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Look, I, I wouldn't have done it without the guidance of the editorial team upstairs at Eyewitness News 702, yourself as well. Um, I mean, you've come to me in certain instances, you know, where you would give me guidelines of, listen, do this, do, do things this way, and this is how it's done. And that goes a long way. So absolutely, it's not, this is just not my award. It's the award for the entire prime media. It's the award of Eyewitness News and the investment that they have put in me and my growth, the training that goes into it. So absolutely grateful to everybody at prime media, everybody at Eyewitness News. Especially the editorial team. Listen, Sfisa Zulu, you're just getting started, mate. Uh, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. I'm looking forward to all the great things you are still going to achieve there. Sfisa Zulu from the Eyewitness News team winning the best news bulletin reader at this weekend's Radio Awards. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.